I'm ready. The contestants are ready. Audience, are you ready? All right. Let's go ahead and start off with our novice division. Pat, what is a novice? All right. Entrants in this division have little prior costume making experience, have never received formal training, have limited to hardly no competition experience, or have won no more than two minor awards. Kicking off our competition, please welcome from Five Nights at Freddy's, Sam S. Scrap Baby! Don't let her show you a scooping room. Despite buying and modifying costumes for 13 years, this is Sam's first cosplay built fully from scratch. Check out that claw. It almost didn't fit in the suitcase. Taking the stage next, from Vocaloid 15th Anniversary, please welcome Amanda S. Hatsune Miku! Woo! 15th Anniversary, Hatsune Miku is ready for tea and macarons. No dessert is too much. Using a combination of patterns and self-drafting, Amanda sewed the entire cosplay out of almost all second-hand fabrics. The fork was 3D printed and assembled with a PVC pipe, sanded and painted. Give her a huge round of applause. Taking the stage next from the Mandalorian, let's give it up for Jedi Princess Katie as Ahsoka Tano! Jedi Princess Katie has been cosplaying for years, but only recently began making her own costumes. Here she is wearing a custom concept version of Ashoka that she imagined in references from the Clone Wars, Rebels, and Mandalorian. She's also excited for competing in her first competition ever. Taking the stage next from Shadow's House, let's give it up for Kaylee and Shauna B as Kate and Emilico! From the children's wing, Mistress Kate Shadow and her living doll, Emilico. Living dolls exist to serve the shadows as a face, but Kate would much prefer a friend and confidant. Together they will solve the sinister mysteries of Shadow House. When one's keen intellect and the other's boundless optimism, cannot wait for their adventures. <laughs> From Six the Musical, taking the stage next, please welcome Fit for a Queen as Katherine Howard! Welcome to the show in the Histo Remix. Henry VIII's fifth wife, Katherine Howard, direct from London's Hampton Court, or Broadway Six, if you're nasty. Her outfit is the latest fashion from 1541 with a 21st century twist. Lock up your husbands. Lock up your sons. Kay Howard is here. The fun's begun. Taking the stage from Genshin Impact, please welcome AMB Queen as Raiden Shogun. MV Queen is a cosplay enthusiast who loves making bad cosplay music videos and good cosplays. There's no such thing as a bad cosplay music video. I'm going to put that out there. This costume was made with patterns online that fits the style they were going for and then manipulated the patterns to fit the character. Accessories were 3D printed and the pole arm was created by themselves. Their first weapon ever made. Get this <laughs> From the World of Warcraft series, taking the stage, please give it up for Banshee Queen Cosplay as Alex Straza! Alex Straza, the knife bender, queen of the dragons, and aspect of the red dragonflight, is the guardian of all life in the world Azeroth. She is the one of five great dragons chosen by the titans to rule over her flight while they watched over Azeroth and its inhabitants. Give this beautiful dragon all of your applause.
from Metal Gear Solid 5. Taking the stage next, give it up for Von Henkel as Venom Snake. snakes on stage. There's no... I, I, I don't see any snakes. I'm so sorry. There's no... He's missing the box. Alright, taking the stage next from Spider-Man 2, let's hear it for 420 Jam as Doc Ock! Intelligence is not a privilege, it's a gift, and you use it for the good of mankind. This is Annalise, and today she is an embodiment of the brilliant and formidable Doc Ock from Spider-Man 2. With her mechanical arms and a relentless determination, she brings this iconic character to life in the realm of cosplay. Give all these amazing arms a round of applause. Taking the stage from Star Wars, Attack of the Clones. Up next, Caitlin as Padme Amidala! The picnic gown is Caitlin's first major cosplay and has been a dream costume since she was 11. Because who didn't want to go frolicking through the fields of Naboo? It took seven months to create over 200 meters of fabric and way too many cans of Coke Zero to complete. This is beautiful beyond words. From the popular Nintendo series Kirby, hailing from Dreamland, please welcome Imagineer Amy as King DDD! This one was the art tribal and ally of Kirby from the Nintendo series. Imagineer Amy has done immense work translating this villain into a gender band of her own style. The hammer was made from mostly recycled materials and the dress was designed from various patterns. This cosplay took around five months to complete and is amazing. From the hit movie, Disney's Tangle, taking the stage next, Bonnie and Pink as Rob Made by Bonnie and Pink during the pandemic, we have the lost princess of the kingdom of Corona, Disney's Princess Rapunzel. From near Automata, take the stage next, glorifying as two B. Cosplaying 2B from the game Nier Automata is a costume entirely handmade from the dress to the 3D printed various trees. Sword. Details of this dress are hand painted, each panel taking three hours to complete. It's beautiful, it's powerful, and it says, I'm going to take over the world. And rounding out our novice division from Monster Hunters 2, Wings of Ruin, let's hear it for Neris as Narga Kuga X Mitsune Armor Set! Do you ever wonder what combining two armor sets in the Monster Hunter world would look like? What about combining your two favorite sets from the game? This cosplay is a combination of, I'm not pronouncing that. Pat got it out, bless him, not gonna happen. Mysterious like the, oh man. This is a great mashup of two amazing armor sets. <laughs> you better give this thing all the respect it deserves, because I cannot pronounce those names. All right, one more big round of applause for all of our novice entrants. So, there, there are division awards and those are decided by all of us. But we also have judges' awards, which are awards that we give to something we saw that was extremely special to us personally, individually. Um, so my judges' award, <laughs> for many reasons I love this costume, 
Um, one is when when they walked into the judging room, it was so it was so well done and there was so much on it that I was like, okay, what was bought? And then the person was like, oh no, I made all of this. And I was like, wow, <laughs> okay. And it was executed at like an amazing level. And it's from an IP I love a lot. So my judges award goes to Von Hengel as Venom Snake from Metal Gear Solid 5. genuinely has talent that is absolutely not novice. Her technique is incredible. The sewing, I, it was so perfect. Not to mention the absolute like performance she gave on stage. Her attitude, I loved it so much. So the novice, best, in, uh, best, best novice award goes to Amanda Hatsune Miku from Vocaloid. <laughs> 